All right, boys and girls, today what we're going to look at in science is we're going to start studying some information about hurricanes and tornadoes, okay? First thing we got to do before we start our reading is we're going to do something here called an anticipation guide. So let's all focus our eyes up to the smart board and let's take a look at a couple of things we're going to try to answer here. Now what we want to do is we just want to look at some questions here before we read the information so we have an idea of what we're looking for, okay? We want to have a purpose when we read this, and this is our purpose. We want to find the answer to these questions. But let's see what we know to begin with, okay? I want to hear you guys read these directions out loud. Ready? Follow my finger. Reading statement. If you agree with the statement, put an X on the blank. If you disagree with the statement, leave it blank. There you go. So if you read this and you agree with it, what are you going to do? You're going to put an X on the blank. You're exactly right. So I'm going to give you guys a copy. Then we'll go through this and see if we agree or disagree. Any questions so far? Okay. All right, first one. Do I have a volunteer who'd like to read that? Go ahead. Ready? Begin. The glassman calmest. Calmest part of a hurricane is called the eye. Very good. The calmest part of the hurricane is called the eye. Now, I want you all if you agree with that, to put an X in that blank. The calmest part of the hurricane is the I. Put an X there. Now, we don't want to read yet. We just want to say if we disagree or if we agree. Okay? All right, let's look at the second one. Let's all read that together. Ready? Begin. A storm becomes a hurricane when it rains. Reach 115 kilometers per hour. Good. A storm becomes a hurricane when its winds reach 115 kilometers per hour. Do we agree or disagree? What do you think? If you agree, put an X. If you disagree, just leave it blank. All right, let's move on to the third one. Ready? I'll read that one, and then you all repeat after me, okay? Hurricane Andrew became a hurricane in 1992. Your turn. Begin. Hurricane Andrew became a hurricane in 1992. Okay. Disagree or agree? Mark your answer. Mm -hmm. All right, now, the last well, one right here on the agree or disagree, let's read that together. Ready? And everybody out loud, good strong voices, begin. When the hurricane had reached 250 kilometers per hour. Very good. Winds in a hurricane have reached 250 kilometers per hour. Agree or disagree? All right, once you have all your answers, I want you to make sure you lock eyes with me so I know you're ready. Good, 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 good. All right, now let's begin our reading so we can find the answers to these. What I want everybody to do on page 215 here, under what are hurricanes, I want you to put your finger on how tropical storms become hurricanes, okay? I want everybody to read the first three paragraphs on this page. <coughs> Okay, read it silently to yourself, and then we'll read some of it out loud and discuss what we have on our sheets. Is everybody ready? Yes. Begin. Okay, let's stop right there. Did anybody see any of the information that we have discussed here in our anticipation guide? What'd you get? I got a storm becomes... A storm becomes a hurricane when its wind reaches 15 kilometers per hour. Okay, good. What did it say there about that? A storm becoming a hurricane when 
its winds reach 115 kilometers per hour. Did it tell you whether that would be an agree or disagree? It did disagree because it said 119 per hour. Good. Show us where it says that at. Put your finger on it. There you go. Let's all read that sentence together. Ready? Mm -hmm. Begin. A hurricane is a dangerous storm with wind speeds of least 19 119 kilometers per hour. Good. So that answers the question then. So does that mean that a storm becomes a hurricane when its winds, when its winds reach 115 kilometers per hour? No. No, if its winds are 115 kilometers per hour, can we call it a hurricane? No. 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 Text says no, we cannot. Okay? All right, let's move on a little bit. Let's go over to the, let's go to the third one down. Okay? Let's look at the third one down. Let's reread that. Ready? Right here. Hurricane. Hurricane Andrew became a hurricane in 1992. Very good. Hurricane Andrew became a hurricane in 1992. Were we able to answer that question in our text here? Yes. 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 How? Because What's it say? Let's look at the first sentence, actually. What's it say? Go ahead and read it for us. It says, in August 1992, an area of low pressure formed over the Atlantic. The Atlantic Ocean. Good. And it gained strength and grew and it became a tropical storm and they gave it a name which was? Andrew. There you go. Good. Good. So, should we have an X here next to Hurricane Andrew? Yes. Should we have an X next to a storm becomes a hurricane? No. No. All right. Let's look at our last two here. Okay? Let's look at our last two. Um, how about... The very last one, winds in a hurricane have reached 250 kilometers per hour. Did we find that information in these first three paragraphs? No. Yeah. Did anybody find it? Did you find it? Mm -hmm. What's it say? Read it for us. Winds near the storm cent center Good. Center may have reached 250 kilometers per there hour. There we go. So should we have an X next to that one? Yes. Yes, we definitely should. Because winds reached the 250 kilometers per hour. So that leaves one more we haven't answered yet, doesn't it? Yep. yep. Which one is it? The, storm. the calmest part of a hurricane is called what? The eye. Good. Let's all go over to page 217. Awesome. All right. I want you guys to read right here where it says hurricane as a system. I want you all to read the first paragraph of that, and I want you to read this section over here on the side called the I. Everybody put your finger on that so I see we're on the same spot. Very good. Let's read the first paragraph of Hurricane as a System and the first paragraph of the I. Is everybody ready? Mm -hmm. All right. Go ahead and read that. And then I'll tell you what, we're going to read the part about the I. We're going to read that out loud. So I'm going to give you 30 seconds to read this first paragraph. Begin silently to yourself. Okay, lock eyes when you're done. Okay. Now, that paragraph, you're going to come back to it because that's where you're going to fill out the bottom of your sheet for after we finish our readings. Write two or three sentences explaining something you learned about hurricanes in today's reading. So I want you to remember some of the information you read there, okay? Let's move over to the I right now, okay? Let's read that out loud, what says the I, okay? Ready? And let's read the title. Always need to read the title. Ready? The I. The spot in the middle of the hurricane is the eye. Winds in the eye are gentle. The eye has no rain and few, if any, clouds. It usually has the lowest air pressure of the storm. The entire hurricane spins around the side. There we go. So, could we answer that question? Did it say that the, uh, the eye of the hurricane was calm? Yes. Did it? Yes. It did. Let's go back to the sentence where it said it. How about that second sentence? Let's read that together. Winds, let's start there, begin. Winds, Winds in the eye are gentle. Keep going. The eye has no rain and few if any clouds. There we go. 
So if we're in the eye of the hurricane, is it very, very cloudy? No. No. Is it very, very, very windy? Yes. Is it? No. no. What's it say? It says the winds are what? Very gentle. There you go. Good. Thumbs up on that. Very gentle. Is it very, very rainy? No. no. Thumbs up if it's very rainy. Thumbs down if it's not. Good, good. Thumbs down. Not very rainy, okay? All right, so let's check. Should we have an X right here? Should we have an X right here? The calmest yeah. part of the hurricane is the eye. Yeah. Yes, we do. Does everybody agree now? Yeah. Does everybody agree with that? Okay. Let's look at the next one. A storm becomes a hurricane when its winds reach 115 kilometers per hour. No. No. We disagree. Remember, what do the winds have to reach to be a hurricane? Does anybody remember? 119. 119. Good. That might be one of the things you learned today. That might be something you could put at the bottom. All right, how about Hurricane Andrew became a hurricane in 1992? Yes. Thumbs up if you agree. Okay. Boys and girls, listen, there's a good water up here, so when you go to the bathroom, there's a little girl inside the bathroom. It's wet. Okay, the walls. All right. Be careful in the bathroom. Spit water, okay? Be careful, okay? Thank you very much. You're welcome. All right, guys, last one. Well, the Hurricane Andrew, did we, did we agree on that? Thumbs up? Yes. All right, winds in a hurricane have reached 250 kilometers an hour. Thumbs up, good. All right, guys, the bottom part. Let's wrap this up. We had some great answers in our anticipation guide. We found the answers. You did a great job. Now, let's put it all together, okay? Let's read here at the bottom. Everybody together, begin. Write two or three sentences explaining something we learned about hurricanes in today's reading. Good. What I want you guys to do. Thank you, buddy. What I want you guys to do is I want you to take about 30, 45 seconds, turn to your partner, you two and you two. Tell them a couple of things you learned about hurricanes, okay? Tell them a couple of things you learned about hurricanes. Then we're going to write these things down, okay? All right, I learned about it.